So we have another subscriber special here. Ooh, I bet y'all feel special. Every once in a while I get enough requests from subscribers to do various uh, reviews on things, and that's what we're going to do. I've actually had a few requests just in this last week, and I figured I would knock them all out at once. And there's going to be three things shown today. Three. There is going to be the leather pouches that Zippo offers, there's going to be the Z-Clip, and there's going to be my case, my 50 lighter case that I got at the Zippo Case Visitor Center. These have all been requested, so we're going to knock them all out here in one nice, smooth video. First up is the pouch. Let's take a look at this here. The Zippo Lighter Pouch. So here's the Zippo Lighter Pouch. I happen to get the one in the natural leather color, but they also offer it in black. <coughs> Excuse me. They, in fact, offer four different styles of this. I didn't get the one that would actually have fit me the best, but we'll talk about that in a second. I actually saved the box from this from many years ago because I figured ah, I'd probably be showing it off one day. So there's the pouch. Here's the box for it. Let's take a look at the box. This is what it comes in there. It's just in there. It was $10. Here's the information on it if anybody is interested. LPCB lighter pouch with the clip. We'll talk about that. And brown. And of course you've got the genuine guarantee on here. If anything should happen to break on these pouches, it's still covered by the, the warranty there. And, uh, let's see what it says. For a Zippo lighter or Zippo tape measure, I happen to have both. If you've seen the tape measure, you'll know that they're pretty much the same size as a lighter, except without the lid on it. So, taking a look at the actual pouch here. Here it is. This is the, let's focus, brown pouch, and on the back it has a metal clip to clip to your belt. Very nice idea if you don't want to have to fish through your pocket to get the Zippo, you know, it's all floating around even though technically it is a pocket lighter. It's, I, I, I do like sometimes carrying things on the belt. Sometimes I have too many things on there, like I have my Leatherman and then I'll have my uh, inside the waist belt holster clipped, you know, for concealed carry and I'll have these various other things. So sometimes it becomes a bit much. It's just a carry option. You can carry it on your belt with this. But I did not get the right one of these belts, or excuse me, these holsters. Not for me, at least. They offer four different types. They offer the leather with the clip, black with the clip, leather with the buckle, and black with the buckle. I should have got the buckle. The color at uh, half a dozen and one six and the other, but the 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 back I should have got the buckle. The reason for that is this clip. When I clip it on my belt, I, I would notice this in the winter. I would have a jacket, and when I would move, sometimes my jacket would hook on this and pull the whole thing right off my belt because it can just you know slide out the bottom there. If you get the buckle, it's actually a leather strap that has a snap in the back, so it you can pull on it, but it won't just slip off your belt. I've almost lost my lighter uh, at least twice because it's just slipped right off my belt because it's not buckled on there. So I would highly advise if you're going to get this, don't get the ones with the clip, get the ones with the buckle. The color, that's completely up to you. It'll hold the regular size lighters. I have a few here to show. Just fine. And even the armor, which this one happens to be. Ta-da! It'll hold the 1937 replica. Ta-da! And it's really nice. It's a really nice concept, and it kind of shows off your lighter a little bit, and it's got the nice Zippo logo there, so somebody can be like, hey, nice lighter pouch that you have there. It says Zippo on the, uh, the snap there. I just wish that I had the one with the snap on the back, but yeah, this was uh, I was unaware of these cases when I saw them. I just said, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to have a lighter case for your belt like that, so I'll pick it up. I didn't know that there was different snaps and colors and all that stuff. But, of course, it will not hold the slip. It'll hold it. I mean, it, it will fit, but uh, it kind of moves around. I mean, I guess it'll work in a pinch. <laughs> I guess it will work in a pinch, but I don't know, it just kind of moves around a bit. So I guess I lied. It will hold it, but just moves around a bit. So here it is. It's got a... Uh, it's nice quality. It's real nice leather. Snap it back up here. Oh, it's already snapped up. It's real nice, genuine leather there. You can see the uh, 
untreated back part of it, if you want to use it as a strop or something, <laughs> but we're not talking about knives. Of course, just like the rest of the Zippo, uh, most of the Zippo products made in the USA. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It was $10. I got it to uh, about three, three, four years ago. And, uh, for Christmas, actually, I think I bought it on a Christmas day, <laughs> and uh, I would say, yeah, don't worry about the color, but definitely get the clip, get the uh, the band on the back instead of the uh, clip. And that's pretty much the lighter pouch. So, all right, moving on to the next item up for uh, requests that was requested: the Z Clip. Excellent, excellent idea. I really like this. Let me show you how it's intended to work. You just take your lighter and you snap it in here like this and then that would clip to your belt and it has J clips on the bottom so it'll hook over the bottom of your belt so if you pull up on it the belt would go through here if you pull up on it it won't just slide out excellent idea however <laughs> however uh, bad bad execution these things are about five to seven dollars at least the ones that I bought in the store they probably cost about ten and this is the other one yeah, they're both broken. <laughs> both of them broken. I don't know if the lifetime guarantee covers these plastic, because usually it's the Zippo Metal products that have their lifetime warranty. But I never bothered either way, because the shipping would actually be pretty much the same as or more than the uh, Z-Clips themselves. But they both broke. Their Achilles heel is right here. Let's take a look at this. This pin, you'll notice on the other side, there is a, a piece of plastic going over the pin. It's broken off, or it's broken off on this side. I can't remember which side is broken off, but it, it's a really thin piece of plastic that's put there. If you, You'll see it right here on this one, too. You can see how it's broken in the back. You can see how these, these uh, C's are broken right there in the back. They broke in the same spot with both of these clips, so I couldn't use it anymore. It's a great idea, because what I did was I did not use it for uh, putting it on your belt, I can use it, like it says on the package, for putting, uh, clipping the lighter to your pocket, so you can clip it like a pocket knife, so it's always at the top of your pocket. Do I have a pocket around here? Uh, there's a pocket. <clears throat> yes, yes, we're getting fancy. We turned the tripod around. Alright, let's see if I can get my pocket in here. Mm, come on now. There we are. There's my knife. I would use this Z-clip like this to keep my lighter clipped right there. So I would always have it right there. However, that's where they broke. <laughs> that is where they broke because I would be getting up from a chair, it would hook on the edge of the chair, snap it, and it's happened twice. Actually, I think the second time I didn't even break it on a chair. I just sat down and it snapped because of the uh, pressure of the fabric or something like that. So, excellent idea that you can keep uh, clip it right to your pocket. However, poor execution. If this was made better, I don't know, made out of titanium or aluminum or even just a better, thicker plastic, fantastic. I would always use it because I like to have my lighter clipped directly to the top of my pocket so I don't have to fish around in my pocket for it. But, uh, poor execution, Zippo. Poor. I can't, can't really recommend this to anybody unless, you know, for a collector's item because both of mine are broken, unfortunately. And the last item that I was requested to review, which I will happily do, is let's take a walk. Oh, there's an air conditioner. There's the collection of Apple boxes, but that's not what we're interested in. We're interested in the Zippo case. This case right here specifically. This wooden case with all these lighters in it. I am going to do a whole lighter collection overview again. I still said I'm going to do that. I haven't decided to do it yet because I haven't exactly uh, decided how... Let me ask you, if you're watching this video, would you rather I do an overview and say, okay, I got this, 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 and this, or would you rather I go through every single lighter I have? I think that might be a bit boring for some people. Maybe some people want to see that. I'm not the one to judge you. Post your thoughts. If you would like to see every lighter in my collection and me talk about every single one, I would be thrilled to do that because I can never talk about enough Zippos, but you might not be. You might be like, oh my god, this guy needs to shut the hell up. I don't care if he's got a dog and a lighter, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, uh, that's up to you. Anyway, for this case, it is a wooden case. I got it at the Zippo Case Visitor Center in Bradford, Pennsylvania. It holds both the regular size and the slim lighters. Slim obviously don't fit in there as snugly, but hey, they still fit. The only problem you'll have is if you try to put a special sized lighter in there. 
like the 1937 replica, that'll definitely not fit. <laughs> and uh, if you get another specially sized lighter, like the 1935 replica there, it'll obviously have a little space at the top, but pretty much all, all of your standard Zippos will fit. It holds 50 lighters, which are five rows of 10 lighters, so 50 all together. It was $50 at the Zippo Case Visitor Center in Bradford, Pennsylvania. On the bottom here, you may not have seen this, but it does say Zippo. There on the bottom, it's like, uh, uh, burned into the bottom there and uh, it has hooks on the back that's what keeps it up it comes with hooks that you just drill into the plaster wall and uh, you just hang it on there and uh, that's oh it has a glass front you just slide it out of the way to get to your lighters it comes out of the side over there and uh, that's pretty much it. It's it's really nice. I like it. I got it at the Zippo Case uh, Visitor Center in Bradford, Pennsylvania when I went there on my trip. And it probably took about a year to fill it up. I started out with maybe 10 or so lighters in there, and I started with the uh, the full 50. It's completely full now. And uh, that's that's one of the cases I have. The other ones, I don't know if you're interested in seeing those in depth, but are this this old one here. It kind of shows some of the old prices, like right here, $6. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that's how much they used to be. Uh, and, of course, the store display with my special Second Amendment bar of pure silver bullion. Look at that with the Glock 34 on the front. Uh, yeah, so there's the case. Holds 50. This one holds 12, and this one holds 8. And, again, there'll be more of this when I go through the whole collection again, but I did have a request for, a request for this case. Uh, they make generic ones online. The reason I showed you this uh, Zippo here on the bottom is because, where it says Zippo there, is because you can get generic ones of these online, and they either won't have wooden cutouts specifically for lighters, or they won't be specifically Zippo branded. Hey, they're, they're definitely going to be cheaper, though, so you can probably get a, a generic one online for 25 bucks. Watch out for the shipping laws. They sometimes get you with that because you know it's fragile and they don't want, you know, want to break the glass to let it charge you through the butt on shipping. Uh, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed these three items. The case. Well, I can technically use three cases. It was a leather case, a display case, and a uh, Z-clip case. Uh, definitely would recommend this case to anybody. Would recommend this if you got the correct one to somebody i.e. the one with the snap on the back, and cannot recommend the Z-Clip. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.